Alright, hello everybody, this is Nick from TheArcadeHunters.com. It's November 30th, Saturday night. Doing this uh, as a very special video because um, Sega had just uploaded their 3D Classics collection. And I'm going to be checking out Space Harrier, one of my favorite games. It was actually the channel logo for a very long time was me playing Space Harrier. I know 2600 wanted to get a video of both Outrun, I'm sorry, Hang On and Space Harrier out, but... Um, He's got very flaky internet. He's all the way up in the boonies. I'm unfortunately in the suburbs. I can do more videos. So the really cool thing about this is they did a complete total emulation of the arcade game right down to the cabinet. And you'll see right when I get into it. Unfortunately, the sound on the... This is a 3DS XL. is still not that loud. So um, hopefully you'll be able to hear it. But um, they have released other games in Japan. So... They have Altered Beast, Echo the Dolphin, Shinobi 3, Sonic the Hedgehog, Streets of Rage 1, unfortunately, and one of the games I'm looking really forward to playing because they did a complete um, arcade, uh, like you'll see with this, of Galaxy Force 2, and that's out in Japan. You can actually watch videos of all those games running. Unfortunately, they have not said anything about having... Uh, 3D Afterburner or 3D Outrun. I know they lost the license to use uh, the Ferrari in Outrun, so hopefully, you know, they'll maybe they'll do something and clean it up. But it's great that it's not using the um, the Genesis or the Mega Drive version. So I'll show you right here with the game settings really quick. I'm actually using the can't really see it. I have the lights turned off. I have the stand from uh, Kid Icarus. But um, what's really cool here in the game settings they have you can uh, adjust the difficulty, number of lives. But also right here, the arcade cabinet noises, they actually have a, you can actually hear the buttons being pressed and the cabinet moves right there, moving cabinet. And then you actually have the option to invert the controls, which I keep because that's the way it was in the arcade. And they also have a rapid fire button with the B button, or you can just tap on A if you'd like. And then they have right here, they have the screen size, so you can have it, um, I have it set in the original 4x3, but you can also play it where it fills up the whole screen and has Harrier's moving area, which I don't really touch. And then here's your uh, game and sound options. So, pretty cool stuff. So, I'm going to get it on the stand first. Just have to think. There we go. Can't even see what the hell I'm doing because it's in the dark. So, I'm going to keep the uh, whole screen here. How's that look? Okay, here we go. So I'm going to, as you can see, they put the the bezel for, from the arcade game in on this, so it looks like you're playing on the actual arcade Welcome unit. Get ready. So while you're, I'm not, I'm not going to use the 3D, but the 3D effects on this look really, really nice. They did a really good job. So when the dragon is coming towards you, so we're going to coin up. Here we go. Now let me watch. Yep. The cabinet moves. And you can actually hear the um, the buttons being pressed uh, when you're inputting your name, so you'll actually hear the click 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 of the, uh, the flight stick. And from the videos I have seen of Hang On, they actually do emulate the Hang On cabinet pretty well. Unfortunately, it's Super Hang On, not the original Hang On, which I'm more of a fan of than the sequel. But it's nice to see that Sega actually does. You know, they still do this where they will release older arcade versions. I wish Nintendo would do that. I have no idea why they don't release the uh, original version of Donkey Kong and keep. You know, just porting out the friggin' NES version, as uh, you've seen uh, 2600 did a vi uh, video on that. And that's what I get for looking. So many more exciting battle scenes will be available. I would love to see them port uh, Planet Harriers over. I heard the, um... I think the problem is the, uh... Whatever they use to make that game, the, the board is like very finicky and probably be impossible to port over. And I don't get, you're doing great, because I died. And the only problem is it's not that loud, but I think that's just the uh, 3DS in general.
Oh, it is with the uh, Easter Island heads in Japanese video games, but they love their, I don't know, Gradius and all those other games, they love their Easter Island heads. They just look evil looking. This is just one of the um, the three, pretty much all the deluxe Sega arcade games are the must-play games whenever I go to Fun Spot. Now, my first game that I always play is OutRun because I just love that deluxe moving cabinet. Uh, this is number two, and then Afterburner, because the uh, control on Afterburner hasn't uh, worked in years. But just considering how, you know, finicky the uh, the arcade board's on there, you know, just look up uh, my friend Jumble Junkie, and you can see about, um, you can actually hear the buttons pressing. Um, he has a regular um, standard version of Space Harry, and unfortunately the board died on him. And it's actually more money to get the board fixed than uh, was buying the actual machine which is pretty insane just because these are just so hard to fix. And they actually have, you can save um, your replay data, which I'm not going to because that was a terrible game. I'm not going to obviously get up to the uh, never-ending story uh, bonus stage where you're right on the back of that uh, thing that looks like uh, looks like the dog from never-ending story and you just knock down trees for bonus points. But really, really cool stuff here, guys. Um, it's only $6 off of the uh, eShop through the uh, Nintendo 3DS. Well worth checking out. So, guys, once again, I'm Nick from TheArcadeHunters.com. That's the new URL. Thank you very much for watching. We'll have more videos for you soon here on the site and on the channel. Thanks for watching.